This is a public service announcement for any Bamboo Lab users that use Bamboo Studio for slicing and they don't know how to map their colors correctly when they import a multicolor print from somebody else. I spent years repainting things because I had no idea what I was doing. If you've ever wanted to rage quit Bamboo Studio and throw it out into the desert sun like I hypothetically did, please listen up. It's really easy. This is a model that I downloaded, uh, I think from Colts.com, something like that. I think I paid a couple bucks for it. I, I really liked this model. So it wasn't in Maker World, but it's super cheap. I'll put the link below. Little Halloween decoration. And I like this one uh, because it's got three colors. It's very Halloween colors. Now you'll notice as soon as you pull this in that over in the left, the filaments that are there, of course, are the filaments that the designer was using on their AMS when they created this. And we don't want these colors. I don't have these colors. I've got my own colors. In fact, mine are all Bamboo Lab colors. The way I used to do this was like this. And a lot of you probably still do. You need to stop. But I'm going to show you what I used to do. I used to hit sync and then I'd go to override. And then I would just go ahead and synchronize. And so I'd get my uh, filaments listed in here. And then I would do one or two things. One, I could either repaint it or I would go in, I'd slice the plate and then I would go to print. And then in this print stage, I would change it. I'd say the ghost is supposed to be white. The pumpkin's supposed to be uh, orange and this is supposed to be black. And that would kind of fix it. But the problem is, is that it sliced it based on whether it was matte or basic. And so you're telling it to switch the colors but I'm not totally sure that it knows that the type is different. I could be wrong on that, but this is a clunky way to do it regardless. The other way you could do this is um, I could go in here and just try to repaint it. I'd say, okay, let's just go to the paint tool and we're gonna fill that in using this tool here. That's gonna be white. But some of these, um, depending on how the, the model is made, sometimes it's very hard to repaint it such as if I go to the cat and paint it black and then go to the pumpkin and try to paint these, you see that there's not a um, delineation between this part of the pumpkin and that part of the cat. And so when I try to fill it in, it's gonna fill them both parts in at the same time. And now I'm messing around with painting and I shouldn't have to do this. It's already been painted correctly. I just wanna change out the filaments. So this is how to do it go into the model like this. I'm going to reopen it. Again, these are the filaments that the user, that the creator had. We're going to go to the sync button and we're going to stay on this make mapping part. This was confusing to me at first and that's why I didn't use it very often. And also there was a bug in this for a while, so it looked like it didn't work anyway, but it does work. So let me show you. This is going to be the original filaments. The original is on the top, orange, blue, black, white in that order. But it already knows that I've got some of these colors in here. It's smart enough to detect that, oh, you have an orange. I'm going to go ahead and map it to that orange, even though it's a different type of orange. I don't know how it knows that, by the way, but it's smart enough to say, hey, that's the most similar color. I'm going to map that. Uh, there's not a blue, but it mapped it to the brown, which I'm not using. And then the black is mapped correctly. The white is mapped correctly. So it's, it's already in a perfect position. So it's very, very slick like that. But if it was wrong, you could easily change it and say, no, I want this one to go this one and this one to go that one. And then you can see what, what it's going to do if you do that. Of course, I don't want that. Uh, I want my cat black and my ghost white. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit synchronize. And now it's synchronized with my filaments, the correct filaments. And again, I'm using a combination of PLA basic and matte. If these don't update, if it still looks weird, grab this little divider and slide it and you'll see these updates this happened to me a lot and that's why i didn't think this worked but actually it just was a refresh issue it wasn't showing the correct filaments that popped up now if i go ahead and slice it it's all connected to the right uh, filaments i don't have to change anything i can go to the print tab and everything's correct all right does that make sense i hope that helped if it did tell me a funny joke about ghosts or halloween in the comments and subscribe. See ya.